Hey everyone, I'm Lawrence and in this video I'm going to talk about all fairly odd parents games for the GBA. Fairly Odd Parents Until the Cleft is a very basic platformer. What you see in the video is all the gameplay is about. This is all you do. You jump over enemies and shoot water. And you do this in various locations for around one hour. Okay, to be fair, there is one level that is different. This flying level. But aside of this one, all of the rest of the game is kind of similar and repetitive. You get some boss battles though. And overall the game is very basic. And many people won't like that. I liked it. But thing is, I'm also a fan of the show, which might influence my opinion. Fairly Odd Parents Clash with the Anti-World is a great game on paper. The concept is great, but what hinders the game to be really good is the execution. The game is a platformer, where Timmy has four different forms he can transform in. He can turn into a car, a pirate, a ninja, and this green guy. And each form has different abilities. Sounds cool. Well, it is. The level designs are creative, the gameplay is varied enough and fun. And overall, I recommend you the game if you're a fan of the show. If you're not a fan, I don't know how you would react. As I said, I am a fan. So the best bet will be to try it out yourself and see if you like it or not. But objectively speaking, this game is pretty good. It doesn't stand out or isn't in the masterpiece level, but it's not a bad game. It's actually pretty good. Fairly Odd Parents Shadow Showdown is a platformer, but the difference is that this one isn't as basic as the first one on this list. Right from the tutorial you realize that the game has a good deal of different moves to remember. They aren't anything you haven't seen in other platformers on the GBA, but I just wanted to point out that this game isn't basic. You can take control even over Cosmo and Wanda, Cosmo transforms Timmy into different forms and Wanda transforms enemies into stuff to progress in the level. But even if it's nice to get many levels of control, the execution is poor, jumping is stiff and even the controls in general are stiff. And this makes the whole game a chore, it makes it frustrating and the level designs don't help either. This game is frustrating. Fairly Odd Parents Breaking the Rules is an ok run and gun game. You platform around and shoot enemies. You get boss battles and the game is pretty much what it looks like. If you find the gameplay you see now in the video appealing, then there's a big chance you might like the game. But if you don't like what you see now in the video, then you're most probably not going to like the game. As I said, the game is really how it looks. I consider it good. You get plenty of locations, the controls are okay, and I had fun in the game. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to financially support me in my pursuit to review as many video games as possible, you can do that on Patreon or on the channel's membership section. You will help me a lot. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and terribly thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.